My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I'm going to tell you what, this is a really nice car. The more I looked at it and read the receipts and found out about this car, it just got better and better for me. Uh, we do have a folder stuffed with all the receipts and specs. There's dyno sheets for the motor. That's a rebuilt 440, making something like 460 horsepower, 490 pounds of torque. It's been blueprinted, balanced. Uh, 727 automatic, everything underneath is done on the car, 391 Posi, this is a nice, nice car and it's very affordable for a Mopar big block convertible. You can go to volocars.com, that's where you can read the specs and study all the pictures, that's where you find a price tag on every car we have for sale and along with that is a monthly finance option as well, uh, so you can finance this car uh, if you go to volocars.com. If you enjoy our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, that way you are notified as the new cars are posted. But for right now, tops down, let's go for a spin. I didn't mention it's a 1968 Dodge Cornette 500. Uh, and underneath the car is very clean, very sanitary. All the floors and frame rails all looks nice and solid, and it has a fresh, tidy, a uh, thin coat of black undercoat on there, not thick gooey stuff, but just a nice thin coat. It looks real fresh and clean. And all the components look like they were apart during the restoration. Uh, the whole front end looks like it was rebuilt. You know, all the suspension and steering and ball joints and springs and all that looks like it was replaced. Same thing with ba in back, the leaf springs, bushing shocks, it all was replaced. Uh, it has a fresh Dynamax a dual exhaust system, uh, upgraded to disc brakes in front. All the brake lines were replaced. The e-brake assembly is hooked up. The fuel system was replaced. So the tank, the sending unit, the fuel line. Uh, you look up at the motor. It's a nice clean motor. It's actually a spotless looking motor. Uh, high torque starter. Uh, 727 torque flight automatic also looks fresh and all the parts attached to it look fresh. Uh, I did see a receipt in there, the trans was serviced, uh, rebuilt drive shaft, and in back it has 391 sure grip uh, gears. So this thing is a muscle car. Uh, seems like I'm forgetting something under there, but maybe not. But uh, yeah, look at the pictures, all very nice and clean. I am forgetting something. They welded in frame connectors. Uh, looks like it came from the factory that way. They're welded in. That prevents some body twist because you got a convertible with a big motor. So let's check out the body. The car was restored, I think, about 10 years ago. And the body looks really nice. I'm noticing the gaps are really good. The car is straight everywhere I look. It's real nice and straight. Has the RT hood, hood the power bulge hood with the hockey stick chrome pieces in mint shape. Uh, but yeah, looking down the side, real straight. It's got the Penstar emblem. There's no bubbles. Well, just a little speck in the paint there, a piece of dust. All this is smooth. There's no bubbles around the wheel well here. All real nice and clean. All fits real nice. You have a, a small hairline crack right here because there is a seam here. And being a convertible, you do a little twisting. This lines up real nice, all oh, real nice. Again, the more I look at it, the more I like this car. Uh, crack you can barely see on this side, a little hairline. This is all real nice, all real good. There's a crack right up here. It must be a common stress area on these Mopars because I see it there quite often on these cars, but there is one crack in the paint. All real nice, tiny, tiny bubbles, not even bubbles, pimples. They're literally the size of pimples at the corner of that door. So I'm gonna say the body is in really excellent condition. It, it is straight. Factory born color combination, white with the green. The white is polished smooth and glossy. 
as I was looking at the body, I didn't see any flaws in the paint. And up front, this 500 emblem looks brand new. Grill is really nice. The bumper is like show quality chrome. Same with the bumper guards. 68 was the only year at the round uh, marker lights, I believe. They look new. As a correct antenna, the windshield's been replaced. It's crystal clear. Stainless trim has been buffed. It's real nice. Chrome vent is real nice. The mirror is excellent. Door handles were replaced. Uh, chrome trim here is really nice. Rocker moldings, smooth and straight. Wheel well moldings are real nice. The trim on top of the doors and all around the openings, all been re uh, stored, polished, or re-chromed. Back bumper is beautiful. Tail lights are very nice. few little pits in the tail lights, but they're shiny. This whole panel is in really good shape. I kind of like that, the black with the lines. Of course, we got the bumblebee stripe that's painted on. Uh, that's real nice and slick. You can barely feel it. Little nick on the inside edge of the door. Now, earlier I did say I didn't see any flaws in the paint. I'm not saying there are no flaws, but really it, it's not cracked up or chipped up or anything like that. The wheels, I'm sure you noticed those by now. The Magnum 500s look great on no matter what you put them on. These are 15 inch. Notice they're extra wide in the back. BF Goodrich tires, the back tires are fatter, so it gives it that nice muscle car stance. So yeah, it's looking really nice. Still, I'm liking it more and more. So why don't we open it up, see what's got inside and under that hood. Well, the trunk is pr plenty big enough. You can put your lawn chairs and coolers in here, no problem. Uh, all solid metal. The trunk floor has been replaced. They did a very good job of it. The rubber mat's been replaced. The weather strip's replaced. The well liner that the top sits in is replaced. Under the trunk lid and the jam are painted nicely. So nice clean trunk. We didn't talk about the convertible top. It's a green convertible top. Looks to be in excellent shape. The top frame's real nice. The weather strips were replaced. The hydraulic rams were rebuilt. Uh, so top's real nice. You can look at it on our website. Door jams are painted real nice and tidy. Weather strips were replaced. Window seals were replaced. Door panels, uh, excellent condition. They look new. The metal trim's painted real good. Dash area is real nice. The, the lens, the knobs, everything looks real good. Not beat up or drilled or cracked or broken. Original AM radio, heater controls are nice. Got the owner's manuals, a new glove box liner. So this is Legendary Upholstery. It's the premium uh, best upholstery company, in my opinion. Uh, so it's Legendary Upholstery. The cushions feel good. Seats feel real nice. Same thing in the back. Back seat was reupholstered. The plastic trim, the armrest, everything looks really good. Very tidy interior, just like the outside. Also a cushion grip Mopar steering wheel. Visors look good. No stereo, just got the AM radio, but I guess uh, in this case, the exhaust is your music. And for what it's worth, it comes with a whole pile of keys. He has extra keys that come with it. Real nice guy for whatever it's worth, too, that, that I got the car from. So that's a 440, completely rebuilt. I have the spec sheets, three, three pages uh, talking about what's in the motor. We also have the dyno sheets, uh, 466 horsepower, 489 pounds of torque. Those are actually Edelbrock aluminum heads and intake. They're painted to match the motor, so it looks stock. Got a big dual feed Holley carburetor. Uh, it's this uh, MSD ignition. It has a pro billet distributor. 
Uh, it's got a set of headers, a matched set of Mopar valve covers and air cleaner. And it has an aluminum radiator painted black, also just trying to make it look stock with dual electric fans. It has the horns, it has the battery bolted down, it has power steering, it has power brakes, it's got big fat spark plug wires, they're all run very neatly through their loom. The engine bay is real nice solid metal and I'm going to say the paint's very good, it's not pristine but it's very good paint. Uh, up front here it does have a transmission cooler and it has a polished overflow bottle. Also has the original fender tag is still in place here. And then the VIN number, the hidden VIN number is also stamped on the core support. So it's a nice, clean, tidy, proper motor compartment. Yeah, this car's got a lot to offer. The hood, the stripes, the wheels, the motor, the sure grip rear end, the posse. I mean, uh, being rebuilt, being as nice as it is, coming with a pile of documentation, this car has so much to offer. Uh, I would imagine they didn't make very many of these in a convertible either. I'll have to look up the production numbers. So there you have it. Here's your chance to get a nice muscle car, big block, Mopar convertible. Gave you my impression. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman. They'll help you out the best they can. They'll help get this delivered to your driveway. They'll help you finance it. You go to volocars.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. We got more great cars coming. Thanks for watching.